I first was introduced to the waters of the world uh, when I worked as a juggler on Carnival Cruise Lines back when Carnival Cruise Lines had one boat. When I came back to the States, I ended up on a barge similar to this. In 1985, I got this boat for 500 bucks and decided that it was indeed something that I wanted to uh, wrap my arms around and devote my life to. So when I found it, it had about eight feet of mud and it took me two years to get the mud out and to get it floating. In 1989, we were ready to open our doors. Our first port of call was Hoboken, New Jersey. The barge was built in 1914 for the Lehigh Valley Railroad Company, one of 13 railroads that worked here in the Port of New York. The barge worked as a kind of a shuttle service. A gang of 24 stevedores would take up to a week to transfer the goods from the ship to the barge. It worked up until the Second World War when it was decommissioned. When I met Greg O'Connell and the O'Connell organization and brought the barge to Red Hook. The Waterfront Museum's role in the beginning uh, when we came was to draw people to Red Hook, to make Red Hook a cultural and arts destination. Uh, we have open hours two days a week for free so people can come and find out about us. close to 2,000 kids that come through to learn about the barge and what it was used for. Our programs are education and the arts. Uh, we also do concerts and storytellers, exhibitions, and then we also do music and dance and film and plays here. It was the concept of a museum by day, showboat by night. Life is long since you went away. Hey, what's this? There is, I believe, a need to get people on the water. A lot of people don't see or have contact with the working waterfront. Um, it's hard to meet a tugboat captain. It's, not, it's very difficult to get on board a, a pilot ship or a, a visiting ship. Historic preservation is a very tough fight. You know, once you lose a building or a, a historic site, you know, it's pretty much gone forever and out of sight, out of mind. It doesn't take but a flash to forget it all together that it was there. I would like to think that the museum is, uh, can be pointed to as showing maybe a positive aspect of holding on to some of our historical resources and help make a link of the past and the future in our present. Can we have a big hand for the guy who has our boat?